Hi, David. Hi, McKenna. I have to say, this is the most incredible setup. I'm so impressed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, we've set it up especially for photographers so that they can photograph nighttime wildlife um, from the luxury of the hide. I can see you've thought of everything. I mean, you've got the tripod, you've got the, you've got the camera track here, you've got, oh my goodness, you've got the heated, heated seats, seats. Yes, and blanking. Yes, yes. the cold nights. <laughs> so you've got all the gadgets, but what about the wildlife? What do you hope I'll see tonight? Well, hopefully tonight we may see the polecat. I've never seen a polecat in the world, so that would be amazing. Yeah, they're very elusive. Hopefully we'll see tawny owl, maybe heron, um, muntjac deer, possibly badgers. Well, obviously, polecat is what I'm really hoping for, but if I see half that list you've just given me, I'm going to be <laughs> extremely happy. <laughs> OK, look. to see it in such fantastic light. Very, very special evening. Thank you very much, David. <laughs> been amazing. I saw my first polka. I tell you, it was such a great evening. It was like a scene from Wind in the Willows with all the characters coming along, ending up on that adorable heart-shaped face of the polka. You must admit, that was pretty they're special. They're very attractive animals, yeah, they are really, really attractive animals. But of course, they're ferocious predators as well. You mustn't forget that. But, you know, I just got a fleeting glimpse, I was happy with that. But David obviously films them any time that they come through and he regularly sees them and he's seen some amazing behaviour. So he baits them, he does put food out for them and there's a, a big piece of chicken that the polecat's struggling to get back through that hole. And then, as you saw, the heron came in and look what happens here. There's a, a tug of war between the polecat and the heron but that polecat, I mean, that's a ballsy polecat. He's not giving up. He's not going to let that chicken go. And yet, you know, if the heron managed to get him with his beak, that, that would be extremely oh, well, the painful. One stab with the beak to the skull, the polecat's curtains, isn't it? No, you think the polecat's, he might be ballsy, not very intelligent, but oh, yes, he is. He makes a plan and he takes his stash over to the other side. So amazing behaviour. But look at this that David got back in the summer because, as you'd expect, that's when they breed. They have their young from about May to June and out comes the adult, followed by two kits. 
Actually, they, they almost look the same size as the adult. Um, they, they leave the mum, it's the mum that brings them up. They'll leave the mum at three months old, so around September. But you can see they, they really do have that, that white band. They, they look like bandits, those little ones, don't they? But as, again, as I say, fantastic footage. And David did say that if he gets anything extraordinary in the next two weeks, he'll send it to us and we'll make sure that we show it to you because extremely difficult to see. But when you've got those lights on them, you get fabulous footage. Well, the question is, are they real polecats? Yes, verified. I only say that, I only say <laughs> that because the ferret is a domesticated polecat and ferrets were widely kept for rabbiting, still are in some places, and on that account a lot of them escaped into the wild and became feral. And when the polecats, uh, polecats started to spread out from Wales, they started interbreeding, hybridising with those ferrets. And in fact, in the 1990s all the way through to the 2000s, as many as 31% of the polecats in the wild that looked exactly like polecats were in fact hybrids but the really good news is that studies have continued and they found that over a relatively short space of time perhaps just 20 years the polled cat breeds true so even if they start off as hybrids even if those ones dare I suggest at Balty Hall might be hybrids at the moment within just a few years they will be pure polecats really good news for the polecat I tell you pure or hybrid I was extremely happy and I'm going to I'm going to claim that as my first wild polecat fantastic stuff <laughs>